Welcome to this tutorial video. In this video we'll be looking at the reading of an analog meter. Many of us are used to decimal or digital meters these days. An analog meter, much like a, a clock, has a face, a scale and a needle to read from. When you're reading an analog meter, there's a couple of things we want to check. First of all, we want to examine have we put it correctly in the circuit? Is it located in the right spot? Have we placed our meter in correct polarity? We'll get on to polarity a little bit later. Are we reading off the correct scale? And have we read the meter correctly? So first of all, let's look at the correct location of the circuit. So, voltmeters. We have a voltmeter here on this first circuit on the left and a voltmeter here on the second circuit on the right. Okay, Which one of those is correctly positioned or located in the circuit? Is the left circuit or the right circuit with the voltmeter? Voltmeters are always connected in parallel, not in series. Here's our voltmeter in parallel. So that's correct. The one on the right is incorrect. The reason being, voltmeters have a very, very high resistance. We want to sample a small amount of charge running through the circuit. Okay, So when it's in parallel, a large resistance will only sample a small bit of current and not affect the flow of charge. Here, a large resistance is much like putting a huge knot in a hose and trying to measure the rate at which um, water flows through a pipe. Okay, So it is placed in parallel. Let's consider an ammeter. Here we have an ammeter on the left and an ammeter on the right. Which circuit is set up correctly for an ammeter in a series circuit? Again here, ammeters are in series connected. Okay, much the opposite to what we just did with the voltmeter. So this ammeter here is in series circuit. One loop, it goes from the positive terminal all the way around to the negative terminal with only one possible path. This ammeter is hooked up in parallel. As charge travels along, it gets to a junction or a node where it can go traveling across the light bulb or it can go through the ammeter. Now ammeters, unlike voltmeters, are very, very low in resistance. Okay, So if we had a low resistance in the ammeter, when charge travels along and it got to this node point, a junction or a fork on the road, all the charge would flow through the low resistance ammeter and nothing through the light globe, or light bulb rather, and so the circuit wouldn't work. So we've found so far that voltmeters are hooked up in parallel and ammeters in series. Now, looking at polarity, which one of these two voltmeters is hooked up in the correct polarity? Is it voltmeter here on the left in the first circuit or the voltmeter on the right. Now what we mean by polarity is the positive terminal of the meter is, if we track it back, hooked up to the positive terminal of the battery. Now the big line represents the positive. Some people believe in logic that bigger is better. Others will say that good things come in small packages. The negative or the black terminal has got a direct connection to the negative of the battery. And so this is correct. This installation, however, has got a negative terminal from the voltmeter that is hooked up to the positive side. This is reverse or incorrect polarity. Now I agree the switches are both open, but let's imagine the switches have been closed. This will not work. In fact, if a voltmeter is hooked up in reverse polarity, instead of having a needle that deflects to the right, the needle will push back to the left and quite possibly burn out the meter, and we don't want that. Let's see. Can we read off the correct scale? Sometimes a decimal, or not a decimal, rather an analog meter will have a top scale and a bottom scale. And it depends which of the two terminals you're connected to. So if your meter in this scenario were connected to the 15 volt terminal, and here's our 15 volt terminal, that means you'd read off the top scale. Because the top scale has what we call a full scale deflection. The far right number represents 15, it matches this terminal. So if we had this in a circuit, this voltmeter measuring off the 15 volt terminal, we'd have to measure from the top scale. If, however, we had our circuit connected to the 3 volt scale, that means we'd have to read off the bottom scale, because the bottom has a full def scale deflection of 3 volts on the bottom scale. So depending on which terminal we use, we have to choose the top or the bottom scale. And remember, of course, the full scale deflection will match the correct terminal. Now, once we've got in the right polarity, in the right position, and we're reading correctly, can we actually read this meter correctly? 
So first of all, this needle is between the 4 and the 5 milliamps. So that's the starting point. It's going to be 4 point something milliamps. We can see between the 4 and the 5, there are 10 minor divisions. You can count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So from 4 to 5 is 1 milliamp. Divide that by 10, each minor division must be worth 0.1 of a milliamp. I'll do that again. We've got 1 milliamp divided by 10 mini divisions. So each minor division must be worth 0.1 of a milliamp. So the reading of this one, we start at 4 milliamps, and we've got 1, 2 minor divisions. Now each division is 0.1 of a milliamp. So at this meter reading is 4 plus 2 lots of 0.1, so 4.2 milliamps. Likewise with a voltmeter. Here you can see that our voltmeter is measuring between four, oh sorry, between six and eight volts. And again, there's one, two, three, four, there's ten divisions between the six to eight volts. So that's a difference of two volts divided by ten divisions means each minor division will be worth 0.2 of a volt. So this is 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and then seven. So this one is seven plus a further two divisions. 7 plus 2 minor divisions, each of 0.2 of a volt, gives me a voltage reading of 7.4 volts. That's 7.2.4. 7.4 volts. Let's look at some examples. We've got here a meter that we're reading off the 15 volt socket. So have a look. What does this voltmeter measure when we're reading off the 15 volt scale, the middle scale? Pause now and calculate. Welcome back. So have a look, we can see that on the 15 volt scale, full scale deflection 15 is the middle scale, we've got 10 to 5, uh, 10 to 15 rather. That's 10 divisions for 5 volts. So each individual minor division will be worth 0.5. 5 volts divided by 10 divisions, 0.5 for each division. So in this case, if we started at 10, we've got another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 divisions. So 7 lots of 0.5 will be 3.5 volts. Add that on to the 10, and we've got 13.5. Or we can just count them out. We've got 10, 10.5, 11, 11.5, 12, 12.5, 13, 13.5 volts. Example number two, we're now reading off the 10 volt socket, which means we're using the top scale. It's got a full scale deflection on the right of 10 volts. Can you measure this one? Let's see how we go. Now, it's somewhere between 2 and 4 volts. Again, there's 10 divisions between 2 and 4 volts. So that is a difference of 2 volts divided by 10 divisions, means each individual division is worth 0.2 of a volt. So here we've got 2 volts plus a further 1, 2, 3 divisions. 3 minor divisions, each of 0.2 of a volt, means I'm going to have 2 plus 0.6, 2.6 volts. Or we can count them out. 2, 2.0, 2.2, 2.4, 2.6. Example number three, we're looking at our amps from an ammeter. What current are we measuring here when we're using the 0.5 socket? So 0.5 is the middle scale. See if you can work that out. Okay, the middle scale. This measurement is between 0.3 and 0.4 of an amp. There are 10 divisions between the 0.3 and 0.4, which means each one amp from 0.1 rather, from here to here, from 0.3 to 0.4, that's 0.1 of an amp, dividing it by 10, each minor division is actually equal to 0.01 of an amp. So in this case we've got 0.3 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 minor divisions. 0.3 plus 5 lots of 0.1, and that's what each individual division was, a minor division, gives us a current of 0.35 amps. Or alternatively we can read it, that's 0 0.30, 0 0.31, 0 0.32, 0 0.34, 0 0.35 of an amp. And finally, another ammeter measurement. We're looking at the 0.05 socket. 0.05, which is the top scale. Can you calculate what current that would be? The reading is between 0.01 and 0.02. There's 10 divisions between 0.01 and 0.02, a difference of 0.01 of an amp. Dividing it by 10 means that each minor division is actually equal to 0 0.001 of an amp. 1 milliamp, in fact. So in this case, we start at 0 0.01 and we go up 1, 2, 3, 4 divisions. Each division is worth 0 0.001 of an amp. 
So in total we've got 0.01 plus 0.004. So our current reading from this meter is 0.014 of an amp. Or if we wanted to count that out individually, 0.01, 0 0.011, 0 0.012, 0 0.013, 0 0.014. Look, I hope this video has helped explain how we insert meters, analog meters into circuits, the concept of polarity, correct polarity, um, the idea of being able to read a correct scale, and then from that measuring correctly the values from our ammeters and our voltmeters. Review this video if you like to practice your skills, keep working hard and enjoy your physics. And as always, thanks for watching.